What is a phrase that you can't stand? What are acceptable lies you can tell your kids? What is incorrectly perceived as a sign of intelligence? I was surprised when I learned that knowledge isn't necessarily correlated to intelligence. I met a lifelong academic who knew damn near everything about her topic, but just the facts. It's like she was a walking encyclopedia, could cough up any info about her field, but she couldn't really process it that well, or draw conclusions, or apply it to a different topic. It's hard to explain. She had a nice 2TB SSD drive full of info in her head, but she had a substandard CPU. Since then, I've met several people like that, all academics, but I'm not sure that has anything to do with it. Wealth. Thank you for the gold and silver. I'm so rich. Therefore, I'm smart. SMRT smart. A cromulent vocabulary. This embiggens me. Oh, yes. Slow down. My dictionary's on fire. I'm living in China right now, and everyone keeps calling me intelligent as I'm bald and left-handed. Using big words or complicated language when trying to explain something or talking about a difficult subject. The smartest people can actually make it sound simple. Being labeled gifted at a young age. Arrogance portrayed as confidence. A truly intelligent person knows that there's things they don't know and keeps trying to learn. An idiot refuses to acknowledge that there's anything they don't know and fears doing anything that might prove it. People that say, oh, sweetie, in an argument. If one animal was made the size of a whale, which would be the scariest? Chimpanzee. Already very strong and incredibly smart, just imagine if you pissed it off. Any microscopic insect or organism whose form is unfamiliar to the human eye as is. Ants would be pretty scary. Their faces. Keep it microscopic. A chicken would be absolutely terrorizing. That is a dinosaur. Perhaps we should pick a whale's prey and then see how they fight. Smart. Whale-sized shrimp? We would all be krilled. Praying mantis. Cockroach. Human. Oh god. I don't want to imagine people that big. What actor will you always associate with that one role, no matter how many others they do? Fran Drescher as the nanny. The guy who always plays a guy named Hector. Frankie Muniz as Malcolm Wilkerson. You mean his last name wasn't in the middle? McLovin. Leonard Nimoy as Spock. Alfonso Ribeiro as Carlton Banks from The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Aaron Paul as Jesse Pink Man. The dude who played Napoleon Dynamite will always only be Napoleon Dynamite. Bro that plays Jon Snow may as well legally change his name to Jon Snow because we're never gonna stop calling him Jon Snow. The Rock, with his role as The Rock. Don't forget his wisecracking sidekick Kevin Hart, played by Kevin Hart. Elijah Wood will always be Frodo to me. What is common knowledge that you found out way too late? Always eat before shopping at Costco. <laughs> More like always eat while shopping at Costco. Just because I hold an opinion on something doesn't mean that I need to share it. I spent way too much of my early adulthood inserting my viewpoint into discussions that I wasn't really a part of. Always get it in writing. Simply asking how are you once in a while is all it takes to not fall apart from old friends. That when people ask to borrow money, especially if it's a friend or a family, just expect to never see it again. Who knew a tissue, a stick of gum, and money were all the same to borrowers? Hard work isn't always the answer. When I worked a minimum wage job, I would work hard and not take breaks. So a great job, do a great job, and always finish early. I just then got told to pick up the slack for the employees who spent their time goofing off. Never got a promotion, raise, or even a, hey, good job. Yeah, guys, minimum wage equals minimum effort. Know your worth. Don't overwork for a corporation that will replace you the next day. Every action made in anger ends in sorrow. An attorney when I was 24. I mean, I'm never sorry after I've rage cleaned. That you can actually say no to your parents. Percentages are reversible. So 8% of 25 is the same thing as 25% of 8. And sometimes the reverse is easier to calculate. There's no rules to doing chores. You can make it more fun if you want to. For no reason, I forgot that I could watch a TV show while I fold laundry, and I didn't have to sit there and just do it. That gargling salt that gargling salt water works way better than cough drops for colds and sore throats. What are you addicted to right now? Can anyone guess what my answer is? I won't say it, but if you've been watching my videos on here, you, you should know. I'll see it in the comments, and I'll, 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 I'll reply to the ones that get it right. The internet. Can't stop using it. My brain is constantly overstimulated from it, but I keep scrolling Reddit or YouTube or play games. I need to rest my brain from it. If anyone has cured themselves, I would appreciate advice. I ice cream sandwiches. Haven't had one in about five years. Bought one last weekend. Since then, I've eaten about 24 in a week. Now I remember why I stopped buying them. Picking my skin. It's a nervous habit, and frankly, I'm at a point in my life where I'm always nervous. I've always dealt with acne and bumps and stuff, so I always pick at them. It's never been quite this bad, though. I've got four or five wounds on my arm that haven't healed after three months because I can't stop. Food. I just can't stop eating <laughs> food. I'm scrolling it right now. The Elder Scrolls? Aren't you a little funny man? Aren't you a little funny baby man? Aren't you a little stinky funny baby? 
baby, baby man. I've also been addicted to blocked cheese. Growing up, we were too poor for real cheese, so we always ate the shitty plastic cheese. And I hadn't really tried real cheese on its own. Instant game changer. I'm now a rat, chilling at 3 a.m., taking bites out of a block of cheese. I wouldn't say I'm addicted, but I've had a hot dog with crispy onions for supper every night for a couple of weeks now. Biting the skin around my fingers. Dermatophagia. Caffeine. I have kidney pain nearly every day, had multiple kidney stones in the past, and genuinely feel like most of the days. But I just can't stop drinking espresso and Red Bulls. What was your biggest teenage mistake? Not taking better care of my teeth. Thanks. I'll go brush my teeth now. I took my uncle's beautiful restored classic car for a drive and didn't have a license and got it impounded. Not getting the hint that my friend, the beautiful Patricia, wanted to be way more than friends. Not being more sociable. I'm 25 now and I have no f***ing idea how to make friends. Brother, let me know if you figure it out. I do not have <laughs> any friends. Uh, except, you know, the other MK boys, you know, you know, Robin, Zach, the, the fellas. Love them to death, but they're a little far away. You know, like, it's like an hour and a half drive. Sometimes two hours. There and back. But I love my friends. They're cool. Doing an unsuccessful backflip on a trampoline. What invention would you want to see in your lifetime? Dental regrowth would be friggin' sweet. Expensive, but sweet. Efficient water desalination and or plastic recycling. Universal translator. Here, put this fish in your ear. A tiny portable, almost free energy source. What would make your life a little better right now? Friends. If my back pain goes away. Money. I could go for some money. Being debt free. Thank God all I have is credit card debt. Feel bad for you guys with those <laughs> student loans. Especially if they didn't pay off for you with a good salary. I just work a trade job. The ability to travel back in time and correct my past mistakes. Some confidence in the future of our planet and society would be nice. Russia getting the fuck out of Ukraine and letting the world sigh in relief. What is your go-to fact that blows people's minds? All the Botox in the world, literally every gram, is produced in a factory in Westport County Mayo, Ireland. You know when you get up too fast and feel dizzy? Squeezing and stiffening your buttocks together stops the dizziness. In the 1920s, Hawaiian music was the biggest selling category of sheet music. Greenland sharks can become up to 400 years old and don't reach sexual maturity until they're 150. Hey, leave her alone. She's only 125. I just learned this. There are more castles in Germany than McDonald's in the United States. The gene for six fingers is dominant. Five fingers recessive. How? I find that really hard to believe. The recessive gene isn't supposed to win every time. I've only known one person in my entire life who had six fingers on one hand. He had a second thumb. It was actually pretty cool. Giraffes have the same number of neck bones as humans. The Sahara Desert used to be under the ocean and you can still find seashells in the sand there. Adidas and Puma were made by brothers who happened to be Nazis. I was told the whole town would only talk to each other based on which brand they wore due to the brothers rivalry back in school. There are more ways to arrange a deck of cards than there are atoms on earth. No, no. What? Ugh, I'm freaking out. This one freaks me out. We're moving on. Almost 100% of the matter that composes plants comes from the air and not the ground. What is a job that requires little effort but pays very well? My brother-in-law is a security guard for a mineral mine. Mostly walks around and reads books. He calls himself a paid witness in case a crime occurs. Makes good money for a decently leisurely job. I'm a limo driver. I make $35 an hour driving from point A to point B. Are you also bald by any chance? Might even have a barcode on the back of his head. There was an article a few years written by a guy whose job it is to literally watch paint dry for a paint manufacturer. Said it was boring, but paid roughly 70k. I forget the title, but basically escort at government facilities that require a security clearance. Pays like 80 to 90k, and all you have to do is walk non-cleared people, like say the janitor, around the building and make sure they don't steal anything. If you can pass a detailed background check, you're in. Apparently being one of my co-workers. Saying, I am Groot, and getting paid 55 million dollars. Electrician. It's literally light work. Please. Barney Stinson's job. Whatever that is. I locked into my current job. Years and years of specialized software development skills. Switched to consulting this year, and I'm currently a bench warmer for a major corporation. They pay me very handsomely to be available if they need me. So far, they haven't needed me. What is the craziest thing that's ever happened to you? I, American, was visiting the UK for the first time. I got to my hostel and started chatting with the Australian guy in the bed above mine. When I mention where I'm from, he says there's a famous restaurant there he really loves and goes to with his family every time they visit. Turns out it was a place I used to work. He says, hey, I have a picture of our server from last time I was there. Maybe it's someone you know. It was me. I had the lower bunk of a set of bunk beds. I was about three to four years old at the time and I woke up and ran to my parents room just minutes before the top bunk smashed down on my lower bunk. We all ran in and found my older sister sitting up on the upper bunk as it was laying on my lower bunk crying but otherwise fine. I don't know that it could have killed me. I kind of doubt it but it would have been that bad but it definitely would have hurt me if I had still been there when it crashed. My date and I got stuck at the top of a ferris wheel for nearly three hours when the ride's mechanism failed. It was a very tall wheel. She was a 
afraid of heights, so those hours in the Ferris wheel car together seemed like an eternity. This is one of my nightmare situations. Terrified of heights, but I often just push through to do something such as ride a Ferris wheel. My date once fainted in a Ferris wheel. Don't worry, she slowly came around. But um, I opened my wallets to show my friends I had no monies, and a moth flew out of it. I couldn't even imagine how hard I'd laugh at that. That's great. When I was seven years old, I got picked out of over a hundred dancers to dance with Mariah Carey on stage at her concert. It was definitely crazy, but also one of the coolest things to ever happen to me. Several lightning strikes on my house, like five. I've been to many experts, thought with the first house that perhaps there was a physical reason. Now that the second house has also been hit, decided I pissed off Thor. At least you're not a Thor loser. Was on a late night walk with a friend. We found $900 and $100 bills on the ground as we walked past a parking lot at about 1 or 2 a.m. Bro, that was drug money. Bro, you are getting, you are, you are on a list. You are on a list. What was ruined by the internet? My attention span. Privacy. The internet was ruined by the internet. Damn Scots, they ruined Scotland. Childhood innocence. Trivial pursuit night at the bar or pub. Blockbuster. Is that the song from TikTok? What song has the most recognizable beginning? Uh, Hotel California is the first one that came to mind. For me, at least. Beethoven's Fifth. F fair enough. Queen. We will rock you. Oh yeah, the, the, the two stomps of the feet and a clap. No words, no guitar, no instruments. You don't even need to repeat it. And everyone knows what it is and knows how to do it. Even if you're too young to know the band name or the song, you know you can do that. Not only that, but that it wasn't you that came up with it on your own. All Star by Smash Mouth. Some. Yo, I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. I might be biased as a 90s kid though. Thunderstruck by Akadaka. Such a good song. Billy Jean. It takes a bad <laughs> to make a drum beat iconic. Smells like Teen Spirit. Hooked on a Feeling by Blue Swede. Ooga Chaka. Ooga Ooga. Smoke on the Water. God, the was that used to be my favorite song when I was a kiddo. Smoke on the Water was my favorite song. It is still in my Spotify playlist to this day. Good old 035. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Plays a single G note on piano. Where did this black eyeliner come from? All us emo kids scrolling to find this. What is something you hate to see being romanticized? Relationships with clear problems shown as passionate. So much of this passion is terrible emotional management and terrible communicative skills. Bordering on or actual abuse. Gang or thug lifestyle. If you're born into it, raised by the streets, props to you for living this long. Hope you make it out one day. If you're not, don't. Just don't. F off or end up as another chalk line on the pavement. Cartels and drug dealers. Family bloggers exploiting their children for views. Mental illness. Hustle culture. No, Haley. You're not better than me because you haven't slept in three years. Mommy and daddy issues. I don't think I have to explain why. Child beauty pageants. They're sadly a real thing slash industry, but like, in what world is that not child abuse? Spoiler alert! What fictional character's death affected you the most? Uh, when I was a kid, it wasn't necessarily a fictional death, but uh, when I watched Star Wars Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith, and saw Anakin almost die in the lava, I was very sad. Very, very sad. I cried in the theater. The Green Mile. That was... Have you ever seen Up's opening credits? I am a leaf on the wind. How do you pronounce that? Poos- <laughs> I really hope that's not- I hope I'm not butchering that. Poos on Orange is the New Black. Fry's Dog. I'm not over-exaggerating when I say I sobbed when that little girl was burnt in Game of Thrones. Andrea from Breaking Bad. I almost always fast-forward through that scene when I rewatch the show. Realistically, Mufasa. Still scarred. Which protagonist is actually a horrible person? Why did no one say that Goldilocks bitch? She dead broke into someone's house, complained about the way they live, and then acts like the victim once she's called out. Have you seen 2012? Cusack's entire family is a pack of rabid psychopaths, constantly put other people in danger, and at one point threaten the survival of the human race in order to save their own lives. Peppa Pig is an absolute bitch. Somebody needs to turn that fucker to bacon already. Bojack Horseman. But that's kind of the point of the whole show. Mr. Bean. He's inept and creative. That's the allure. But he's also incredibly selfish. For example, he gets the comic on the kid in the dentist waiting room by pouring water over him to make his mom think he wet himself. He steals the ticket from the Burns victim in the doctor's waiting room in order to jump the queue. Woody in the first half of Toy Story. You know, originally, Woody was written to be the straight-up villain of the movie. You can even look up the original audio they made of Tom Hanks playing that version of the character. The result turned out being so downright mean that they actually had to rework the entire script into what we actually got. Jerry, both Seinfeld and the mouse. Walter White, aka Heisenberg. That man is just pure evil. Scott Pilgrim doesn't deserve anything he has. Movie and novel versions alike. Peter Griffin. Have you ever held a grudge against a teacher you still think of today? How did they wrong you? My sixth grade English teacher 
teacher um, put us into groups and we shared stuff about, we had to share stuff about a, th a book we read about a specific person, uh, like each had their own person. And I didn't get around to mine by the time class ended. And um, so she made me read it aloud to the class and put me on the spot and didn't let anyone leave until I finished it. And she made me cry in front of the entire class. Uh, and it was horrible. Uh, to this day, I still will never forget it. I was embarrassed. Everyone laughed at me. It'd be like that though. We move. A teacher in university accused me of plagiarism and she said she spent the whole night trying to find out what I plagiarized. But because she couldn't prove it, she wasn't going to report it to the school. I wrote it myself. We were about six years old and the teacher told us to make Father's Day cards. I went up to the teacher to tell her my dad was dead. She snapped me and said, do it anyway. So I was made to sit in class making Father's Day cards to my dead father. I was in digital illustration class and we had a project to illustrate a monster. I decided to draw the parasites from the movie Cloverfield. We posted all of our pictures up in class and he went one by one giving detailed critiques. He got to mine and just looked at it and said, that's a creature, not a monster, and moved on to the next one. I got a C on that assignment. This was the same teacher that accidentally pulled out the plug on the back of my computer after five hours of work on my final and refused to give me any extra time to complete it. Thank you, Gordon. My idiot seventh grade science teacher, and I remember this because it was so ridiculous. We had to watch a video on wildlife or something and then write a short paper afterward about what we watched. I was in advanced reading classes when I was younger and read my, the th and read my thesaurus and encyclopedias for funsies, so I had a slightly better grasp of English than my classmates. I'm not trying to brag, but this is relevant information. This that teacher knocked 20 points off my paper because I did not use grade appropriate language. I got a lower mark because I was using words she felt were beyond my grade level. I'm still salty about it 25 years later. What is the most disappointing book to movie adaptation? I believe the Aragon movie was so bad, the author refused to let his other books be made into movies. Percy Jackson and the Sea of Monsters. Lightning Thief is bad, but Sea of Monsters defecates on anything and everything good about the book. All of the characters are completely mangled beyond recognition, and the plot is completely butchered. What they did to Tyson was unforgivable. Dark Tower was very bad. A Wrinkle in Time, just awful. Ink Heart, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. The Hobbit Trilogy, I've grown to like some parts of it, but it really didn't need to be stretched out like butter scraped over too much bread. Girl on the Train, the book was great. The movie left something to be desired. I was very disappointed in 13 Reasons Why. The book in high school made me think so much about how little things I did could affect someone in a big way. I tried to be more careful with how I treated people. The show has a lot of flaws that we've all heard about countless times, but I don't, but overall, I don't think teens walked away from it thinking about their actions as much as it was just a high school drama that Netflix needlessly milked into four seasons. Cat in the Hat. So bad, Dr. Seuss's wife vowed to never let another live action film happen. What's a did you know fact that everyone should know? Did you know that mixing bleach and ammonia creates a toxic gas that will kill you painfully? Don't do it. Read the label. Yeah, I love watching all the, all the, the chemical TikTok accounts and YouTube channels where they just mix a bunch of chemicals in their toilet and almost every time it's ammonia and bleach. How are these people still alive? They're making like almost mustard gas. If you're walking through nature and come across a snake, you generally aren't in any danger unless its body makes an S pattern, meaning it feels threatened and is prepared to strike. Other animals that do similar things are bears, wild boars, wolves, and most wild cats. Typically, their hair will stand up, most of the time to avoid being attacked, never break eye contact, and back away slowly, making loud noises. Saved my life a few times. If you're at the beach and the water level drops very quickly, seek high ground immediately. That means it's time to start panicking. Sharks existed before trees. You can only see a rainbow when the sun is behind you. Did you know honey doesn't have an expiration date? Cats have 37 muscles in each ear. Antibiotics kill the effectiveness of birth control. I found that out 17 years ago. Now I have to warn my daughter, who is 17. Did you know ladybugs spend half their lives as these creepy looking larvae with legs? Most people see it and think it's some hostile critter and kill them, but it's a baby ladybug. Look it up. Did you know that if you laid a fully grown blue whale from end to end on a basketball court, the game would be canceled? Did you know in the Walt Disney Pinocchio movie, his nose only grows once the entire damn movie. Everyone should know we can judge the upcoming movie for accuracy. <laughs> your username is now your job. How's life? Well, my username is says Mason, so I say things. That's what I'm doing right now. So nothing's changed. Please pay $4.99 to access the Ask Reddit Answers skin pack. It's okay or whatever. Same. I would have to assume I'm an internet sensation. Uh, can I switch with anyone? I'd like to switch, bro. <laughs> Jacket. Big Refrigerator says, pretty cool. Tenth Time Lucky says, I got there eventually. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Can I please be fired immediately? Says Cactus Fucker One. Amazing.
Oh, wait, no, it's a vibrator. Amazing. <laughs> what are acceptable lies you can tell your kids? We told our son that his ears turned red when he lied. For years, he would try to cover his ears if he was lying. It was usually pretty obvious, but still nice. We were told the car wouldn't start until all seatbelts were plugged in. Netflix has to charge. Let's watch something else. Netflix finishes on my TV at 7 p.m. These are spicy. You won't like them. No, you can't have any. Broccoli makes you super strong, and I don't want to live as Superman's mother. Hey, that's a good one. That's actually a good one. Those with kids, try that out. Tell me if it works. When I was three, I was told that eating the crust off my sandwiches would enhance my toe wiggling abilities. So I ate my whole sandwich and then sat on the couch and wiggled my toes. End result, fully nourished kid. If I had kids, I'd borrow that lie for sure. That goddamn elf on a shelf. New parents, don't fall into that trap. It's a 30 night a year commitment for eight or 10 years. Remembering to move it every night to a different spot for a solid month for 10 years? Just don't do it. That's the music truck. He just likes to drive around playing music for everyone to listen to. What is a phrase that you can't stand? Your payment is due. These challenging and trying times. But related. Should've. This is I dialect for should've, which is short for should have. Should've makes no sense whatsoever. Well, others have it worse. I know, Karen, but for now, just let me exist in peace. Thank you. No offense, right before you offend me. You're not a real fan unless you... People can like stuff without spending hours of researching and consuming every bit of something. My big one, and it's not that big, is could care less. This one makes my spine hurt. Do people who say it even stop to think about what they're saying? You mean you couldn't care less? Out of pocket, circle back. At the end of the day, any mention of synergy. Hey guys, we're all done now. That's all for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good one.